The votes were so close to each other. I think there was like a difference of one vote. So I decided that I would do. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel, Lose Weight Sarah, where I'm on a mission to lose 100 pounds my way. As you guys know, I reached the 20 pounds lost milestone. I'm actually a little bit over that right now. I'm at like 21.4 pounds lost. And so every 10 pounds on my weight loss journey, I reward myself with something non-food related. In that video where I hit the 20 pounds lost milestone, I asked you guys, what reward should I get? And I was really torn between a Torrid haul or an Ulta haul. The votes were so close to each other. I think there was like a difference of one vote. So I decided that I would do both. So for my reward, I spent $100 at Torrid. They were having a big summer clearance sale that is still going on now. So I definitely encourage you to go check that out. So I actually got a lot of bang for my buck that I'm pretty excited to show you. And I also did a mini haul at Ulta where I spent about $50. I will show you guys what I got from Ulta as well. Just so you guys know my stats right now, and this will help you understand how the clothes are fitting me. I am five foot four and I weigh about 252 pounds. I carry most of my weight in my middle and my rear end and I'm wearing a size 20 jeans today. So that you guys know, all but one of the tops I got from Torrid are size one. There was one that they did not have in size one and I really wanted it, so I did buy it in a size two. Now I will also put the names of each of the top down below about here. So that way, if you wanna get it for yourself, you can search it on the website at torrid.com and get it for yourself. So this first top is a super soft raglan tee. I really love the pattern on this. It's a very pretty floral pattern. It's got this like soft pinkish purple color. As the description says, this is really super soft and feels really great. And I think it looks great with my jeans too. So you can see the sleeve is good length. I don't like when sleeves come down to like here or up here. They're kind of uncomfortable and they dry it up. So this is a really good sleeve length. And yeah, I think I just love this. So that's top number one. The top number two is a white lace sleeve keyhole top. This material is kind of weird. It's kind of like a crepe material. I'll show it up close in just a second. Um, it feels really good on. It's very soft. It feels like it will stay cool, so this is great for a summer top. So I'm gonna come a little closer so you can see the detailing on the sleeve. Really, really pretty lace pattern. And then I don't know if you can tell this material. It's kind of like that crepey material. Not too bad though. Very comfortable. This will look good with like a white skirt, uh, not a white skirt, a black skirt. Absolutely something I could wear to work too. Very pretty and professional. So that's top number two. Okay, so this is a tank top and I love the design on it. It says, let your soul glow. And it's really like a rainbow metallic color. And this is a high low tank top. So they had actually showed this styled on the website with this tie on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, that's super cute. I love this. I feel like it makes me look really slim. Well, not really slim. As slim as I can look at my current side. So this is something I will wear a lot. Um, it's definitely summery, but summer in Oklahoma lasts until about November 30th. So <laughs> I have plenty of time to wear it. Really love this, wow. What a great fit. That's top number three. Okay, this next tee is a uh, is called Sorbet Skulls Vintage Fit Tee. I don't know what they mean by vintage fit. The sleeves are a little bit longer and it does feel a little smaller in the waist than some of the other tops that I've tried on so far, but I love, love, love the pattern on here. So I'm gonna get close so you can see. There are these little like pastel colored skulls with heart eyes. I kind of love this. Like I said, the fit is a little bit tighter along the bottom here, but I feel like if I just scrunch it up, it's not too bad. But yeah, I love this too. I really love the design. It's uh, just the right amount of edge for me. 
So that is top number four. Top number five is another summery tank top. Now this is the first one I feel like feels a little bit small on me. Um, not too bad. It's loose in the front here, but it's like along the bust area. It does feel a little tight. This is still a size one. I absolutely love the color of this top. I feel like this goldenrod yellow is a color we don't see enough of. And this says, in a world where you can be anything, be kind, which I think is a really important message nowadays. So yeah, so this is cute. Um, again, this will last me a while. So I love the color. Like I absolutely love the color. I think just a few more pounds and this will look a little bit better, especially in this area um, because it is kind of fitted through here. But this gets a solid thumbs up from me. Okay, so this is my last top and this is the size two top that I bought, which I'm glad I got in a size two because I can feel that a size one of this um, would not have fit comfortable. But I absolutely love the design on this. It was called a sassy cat t-shirt. So it's a cat getting into trouble with a house plan, which I just love the pattern. It's so adorable and so cute. Here's the back side. This looks pretty good. I'm really excited. So the clear winner for me out of this tour haul is the Let Your Soul Glow shirt. I just think it's super flattering. It's super fun with this little detailing on the hips. Kind of draws your attention and a line down that way. The clear winner, I'm actually gonna leave it on for the rest of this video. So now let's get into our Ulta haul. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what I picked up from Ulta. It actually worked out really well. I spent pretty much exactly 50 bucks and then there was tax, of course. The first thing I got, and just full disclosure here, I didn't do this on purpose, but most of the items I got are from the brand I Heart Revolution. It just kind of worked out that way. I don't know how, this stuff was cute. It was what I wanted and the price was right. So that's what I got. So the first item I got, and this box got a little jacked up in shipping, was a soft shimmer blusher strawberry. So I'm gonna hold that up here so you can see it. Getting a lot of reflection there, but let's take this out and just take a look at the formula. I really want this to smell like strawberries. I doubt it does, but I want it to because it looks like it should. It doesn't smell like strawberries. Oh well, what can you do? So here is the actual blusher. I'm gonna hold it in different lights. So it's got like a highlighter in the middle and then the actual blush. So I'm gonna just, I already have makeup on today. I actually did a live stream earlier. If you were there, thank you. If not, that's okay, maybe next time. So I will just put this kind of on my hand here, but there is, this looks very pigmented. So let's see. Yeah, it is super pink. I'm gonna blend some of that. So you can find, but I love the shimmer. That is pretty. So I will have to play with this. If you guys want me to do, I, so I don't do makeup tutorials and there's a very good reason for that. I'm actually kind of a one trick pony when it comes to makeup. I don't really know how to do a whole lot, but if you want me to do a look using the stuff that I picked up today, drop me a comment below and let me know and I will make something happen. It may be the world's worst makeup video ever, but I'll do it for you guys because I love you and I appreciate your support so much. Okay, so next is the rose gold glow and i am a little bit obsessed with this packaging so this is a duo or i'm sorry a shimmer duo and so it's got like this like pinkish white color and then a goldish i'm gonna say not really bronze but like a champagne i don't know what that would be it's not rose gold this is kind of what iheart revolution is known for or is their packaging this is really nice and shiny it's like a rose gold chocolate bar melting Hmm. Okay, the colors definitely definitely look different in the palette than they did on the package. I'm gonna hold that up so you guys can see. So it's definitely more gold and more pink than it appears on the package. Let's do a swipe of these two. So I'll just do, this is the lighter color. It's very faint, but still pretty. I don't like that. And then let's do the gold. I'll try to go up here. 
Oh yeah, I like that. You know what, I'm not wearing any highlighter right now and I don't have a brush, but we're gonna try this gold. So. I always like to highlight the top of my cheek, but oh, that is nice. That is nice, so you can see no highlighter. Highlighter. Put some, we'll put some in the other color on the other side. Of course, this would look much better with a brush, but I don't have one, so we're gonna improvise. <gasps> Now you get to see me with two different highlighters on for the rest of the video. So that's that, very pretty. Hmm, that's gonna be fun to play with. Next is, again, I Heart Revolution. This is the 24 karat gold chocolate palette. Really, really pretty. Love their packaging. It's the color names, and now it has dog hair all over it because it landed on my floor. <laughs> Oopsie. I really don't want to put this back in here because it landed on the floor, so I'm not going to. Um, but these are the color names. Let's see if we can finagle this. So there is that. Getting inception of me there. <laughs> camera within the camera within the camera. Let's look at the palette. So there are the colors. Really pretty. I really, really like these um, taupey colors up here. Very nice. And this dark green, very pretty. We've got a little black. This is a really pretty palette. These are the exact shades I like. I like browns, neutrals, like pinky, kind of taupey browns and, and pink. I'm not impressed by this um, eyeshadow. Now that's also falling on the floor. Now you know why I do weight loss videos and not makeup. Because <laughs> I'm a klutz. Anyway, this is the wand that it came with, which I'm not super impressed with. It's just a really long, like it's awkwardly long. Why does it need to be this long? Because this is what I'm gonna do if I use this, but I'm not, I'm gonna use brushes. Anyway, one more look at the colors. So you can see the palette. You get some natural light. And some dark light. I haven't bought new eyeshadow in a very, very long time because I have quite the collection and I wear the same two things. And last but not least, uh, this was the most expensive item that I bought in my Ulta haul, but I got the Ulta Beauty Contour Kit. I had seen this in the store and had wanted it for a while, so I was pretty excited to pick this up. It actually comes with a little face guide on where to put the different colors, and then it's a pretty good palette of powder contours. So I think this will be really nice. I really love this highlighter up at the top. It's very shiny. So now we can see like the actual, the dark colors. I just smushed it with my finger there. The mid-tones and then the highlighters. Very, very smooth formula. It feels very soft, so I think this will look really nice and natural. Yeah, you can't really tell. I need to definitely need to do this with a brush, but that is the Ulta Beauty Contour Kit. I'm excited to try that. I'm not very good at contouring. It's actually a brand new concept to me, so <laughs> working on it and hopefully this will help me brush up on my skills. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my Torrid haul and my mini Ulta Beauty haul. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love it if you subscribed and followed along on my weight loss journey. I am sharing with you the very real ups and downs of my weight loss journey to lose 100 pounds. So join along. You might just learn something. You might feel inspired or you might learn what not to do from me. If you guys want to check out some of my other videos, definitely be sure to take a look here on the side and don't forget to hit that subscribe and turn on the notifications. Until next time, I'll see you real soon.